Now, 56-inch 4K TVs aren't the only thing that's 4K related at Panasonic stand this year. They also have their new 4K tablet, which is 20 inches, which is pretty big for a tablet, I think we'll both agree. Um, this is basically designed for use by photographers. It's a 15 by 10 ratio screen. And obviously the idea is that when you take photographs at higher resolutions, you can look at them on the tablet, you can edit, and then you can um, send them to another device. You know, basically, clearly, in terms of portability, it's a little bit on the big side. But in terms of uh, practicality for a professional photographer, it makes perfect sense. Now, obviously, as with everything at the show, everything we've been given in terms of release dates and prices is related to the US. And of course, I remember that last year, there was a tablet announced that was never even released in Europe. But certainly, it looks beautiful and it works brilliantly. Um, will we see it? Who knows? Before CES 2013, the rumours circulating that Panasonic was maybe going to pull out of R&D of plasma, maybe they were going to stop making plasmas at all. In fact, with the advent of OLED and with 4K, maybe plasma was dead. But having had a good look around the, the Panasonic stand, I can say there's still plenty of life in the old dog yet. The big news at 2013 CES is that the flagship plasma TV for Panasonic this year is not going to be the VT60, it will actually be the ZT60 or ZT60 depending on which side of the pond you're on. Um, now what's the difference between these two plasmas? Well, the new plasma, ZT, uses a brand new panel. Basically, the old style panel had the panel itself and then a, a gap of air and then the actual glass front. The new panel, the glass front is actually the front of the panel. There's no gap of air between the two. And then the filters in front of that, which basically means that there's much better light rejection. And so there's no ambient light affecting the black levels, which means that the ZT has even blacker blacks than the old VT. Now that's pretty impressive when you consider that last year the VT50 won a reference status badge at AV forums and had incredible blacks. So what else is different about the ZT? Well, it has 30,000 gradations. Um, it also has a much wider color space. Actually 98% of DCI, that's the Digital Cinema Initiative color space. That's a massive color space. Now, of course, that's not necessarily important right now because what we want the TV to do is actually replicate Rec 709. However, I know from reviewing these TVs that plasmas, Panasonic plasmas are a little bit undersaturated in red. So hopefully that means that the new ZT will have an even better red performance. Now, Panasonic have actually got a dark room set up where they have last year's VT50 compared with this year's ZT60. And I can say from having compared the two, the black levels are unbelievably even blacker than the old VT50. And in fact, when they were showing a black image with a black wall behind it, you literally couldn't tell where one ended and the other one began. Very impressive indeed. The colors also looked a little bit richer, particularly in the reds. There were an awful lot of red demos being shown. Um, they were obviously using a little bit of sharpening on the ZT to make it different from the VT, but definitely an impressive looking TV. Now the VT60 this year is basically an incremental improvement upon last year's TV. The big additions really are going to be in terms of slightly different styling with a very attractive sort of brushed metal stand and also of course the new smart TV platform and a built-in camera, which interestingly isn't on the flagship ZT60. Having used uh, built-in cameras on other manufacturers' TVs, I can definitely say that it's something that I really like because it's quite handy for making video Skype calls to your friends and family. Um, otherwise, we've also got the ST60, which again is just an incremental improvement on last year's model. But overall, you can definitely see that Plasma's still got a lot of life in it, yeah. <laughs>